Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, and joining me for yet another video. Um, so today, I am going to talk about my celibacy journey. My journey of purity um, since coming out of the last relationship that I was in, which was over a year ago. Um, I don't like this glare in my glasses, so I'm gonna take them off. So, yes. So let's start from the beginning. Um, so after, of course, I found out everything about my relationship that I was in a little over a year ago, um, I dealt with a lot of shame and embarrassment and fear, um, especially about sex because I thought that I could have gotten a disease, like an incurable disease from dealing with him. But of course you guys have listened to my story and you know that I am clean and completely clean, thank God. Um, so I was like, I had decided that I wanted to live a life like a saved life and I knew that I would not be able to continue um, being sexually active, um, living a saved life. So I honestly didn't ever think that I could not be sexually active um, because I have been sexually active since I was 15. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, like I enjoyed sex. Like I enjoyed the pleasure that I got from having sex. But I do also know that me being sexually active with these men is what caused me to ignore red flags or to not see red flags because I had already created a bond with these men. Um, before I was able to really see who they were. Um, sex to me, at, although it was satisfying, it was more, I did it more because I wanted to feel wanted and it made me feel better about myself or it made me feel wanted and desired. Um, more so than the pleasure, um, and don't get me wrong, it was pleasurable, but it just made me feel wanted. It filled a void in my life that I have been trying to fill all of my life, which is the void that God is supposed to fill. Um, it like pacified my issues with rejection and abandonment. It allowed me to feel wanted and desired by men. And that is all that really mattered to me <laughs> from about 15 till 33 when I decided to not be sexually active anymore. So initially, because I was sexually active with my partner that I had just broken up with, I did not think that I would be able to stop having sex in general. I thought that it would be too hard of something for me to try to commit to. So I had just made the decision that I was not going to have sex until I met my my next boyfriend or the next person that I was going to decide to be with. Um, and But then after I started to get a relationship with God, after I started to learn more about why I had ended up in this situation, like the things that I dealt with about myself after I had learned about my issues with rejection, my issues with not being accepted, my issues with abandonment, I realized that sex in a relationship would, would further blur my my ability to make a good decision about my next partner. Um, so I decided that I was, I did not want to risk 
making the wrong decision about my next partner, I didn't want to risk making a bad decision again. So I decided that I was not going to be sexually active anymore. Um, so initially that was the elimination of sex with men, actual physical contact with men. Um, I've never had sex with a woman, but that was that eliminated that. So then I had this issue left with lust, like this issue with pornography, um, this issue with masturbation that was still lingering because I still had this sin in me, this connection in me, these soul ties in me that were longing for this physical um, thing that I would that I would do or it was just normal in my life to have some type of sexual release at least every week or something so if it wasn't you know pleasure from another man it would be pleasure like me for myself and this might be TMI but I'm just being honest about the things that I dealt with and the the, the things that I had to overcome and face in order to become pure so I prayed and I asked the Lord to take the desire from me. Um, and honestly, initially I did struggle just a little bit with the masturbation part. I never watched any, I've never watched any more on um, pornography or anything, but I did struggle a little bit with that. But then, because I used to do it to like, before I went to sleep, like so I could sleep better or whatever. But then, um, I started understanding how it would set me back spiritually. I started to feel the like how it would hinder my growth and my relationship with God. I started to understand that it was an avenue and an outlet that allowed the enemy to creep into my life. Um, and it just all started to connect. Like, I had to let go of this. I had to let go of a lot of things in order to reach the, the level of peace and wholeness that I desired in my life. Um, I also dealt with like, who, who, what man is gonna date a woman who is not sexually active? And, and then I would, I was led to, you know, a lot of people on YouTube who, who waited, who did not have sex before marriage. And it was just proof to me that people are waiting, that even though I feel like an outsider now because of my decision, um, because nobody around me, trust me, was, was like, Oh, I'm doing that too. No, this is definitely like a journey that I took by myself. Um, but it was it 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 was empowering to see people's testimonies who are in marriages, marriages that were sim are similar to the marriage that I would desire, who waited, men who are who were mature enough to wait, who were following God enough. And who wanted, you know, to be seen for who they are and they wanted to see their wife or their partner for who they were outside of the physical connection. I feel like sex complicates things. It and it puts blinders on things and areas that are essential to you choosing the right person to spend the rest of your life with. You are more than your body. Like, and, and you can live without sex. So like, it's been over a year <laughs> and Honestly, I don't even deal with any type of desire or anything anymore because I have 
done a lot of things to help me, like to help me to remain pure. So some of the things that I've had to do was I had to like stop following men on my social media that even though they were probably like promoting fitness, but they were attractive and they would not have shirts on and I had to stop following them. So I delete and eliminate all temptations or things that would make me think about it. I stopped watching shows that had all of this sex in it. Like it almost makes me feel uncomfortable now to watch these things on TV. Like when I'm not like alone, like when I'm with someone else or you know, with my friends or somebody who may be watching stuff like this. I don't even watch stuff like this anymore um, because it just makes it easier for me to not think about the fact that I am not doing this right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have, I eliminated people on my social media who, who talked about it um, or who posted provocative pictures, even women. Like I just had to do like a whole wipeout of my Instagram. Like it's crazy. And just like replace all of that stuff with empowering things with God things with people who were inspirational who were on a similar walk like as I am on who 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 see the world through the eyes that I now see the world through not through sex um I have also stopped listening to a whole lot of music that talks about it or implicates it or or you know because that just makes me think about it. And it just makes me think about the fact that I am not doing it. Um, another thing that I have done is I do not entertain conversation with men who are not the person that God has for me, number one, who do not approach me in the right way, um, who seem to not care about who I am as a person, but are more so focused on my physical appearance, um, who basically come wrong. Um, I do not entertain people who are not sent by God anymore, anymore. I ask the Lord immediately, Sometimes I don't even need to ask him because it's very clear, but I don't entertain it. I also have done a lot of streamlining on my own page and my own social media and have taken down pictures that may, I feel may have been sending the wrong message um, because I don't want to send that message on my social media anymore because I don't want the attention of anybody except for the man that God has for me that has yet to enter my life at this moment, but I know he's coming. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this once I have met, you know, the a man that I am willing to date and may potentially marry. Um, I'm sure that it will be different than, I'm sure that it will probably be more difficult um, <laughs> to remain celibate. Like it won't be easy, but right now it is easy because like I said, I'm not entertaining temptation. Like I have eliminated all temptation from my eye gates, my ear gates, and I am protecting myself because I desire to live a pure life life. I desire not to be distracted by the enemy. I desire not to create any more unnecessary soul ties with people. I desire to not be, you know, allowing demonic things into my life via pornography and masturbation. Like I, I desire to be the best woman that I can be when my husband comes and after he is there. Because one thing about it that I know about myself is that 
just because you're in a relationship or a marriage with someone and just because you love them, that does not eliminate the temptation that will always be around us. So if I'm not able to control those things now as a single woman, then how will I be able to control those things once I'm in a marriage? The last thing that I would ever want to do is to, to deal with lust and, um, yeah, lust and possible adultery in my marriage. When I could have used the season of singleness to, to gain a level of control over my sex over my sex life basically so that I can be a better wife a better woman so that I can you know be completely whole and pure before the Lord um so <laughs> I said a lot y'all know it's real real over here so if it was too much for you then um I apologize but I think it is so important to become a wife before you're made a wife. And wives don't do certain things. Good wives. They don't entertain other men. They don't like allow these so many areas of temptation to, to come into their lives. They don't just allow anybody to just come up in their DMs. Like you have to protect your marriage. You have to protect your relationship and you have to protect yourself because the enemy is always trying to find a way in to distort or ruin your life. He's out here to seeking to kill, steal, and destroy. And he definitely uses a lot of lust to do that. So, I plan to remain pure until the day that I say yes to the man God has for me in marriage. I believe that the Lord will bless my marriage abundantly by us waiting. I believe that we will have the opportunity to know so much more about each other if we wait. I just believe that it will set me up for a whole new life because it's going to be new. Like that experience is going to be new after my wedding day. Like it's everything is going to be new. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited about dating um sell it like dating without having sex as a part of it like i'm so excited about getting to know my spouse and knowing that he's here for me and not for my body like so and i'm i'm excited about knowing other men or well not other men but knowing him for who he is and not for his body because i have never truly known people because you know I was so distracted by the physical or by the sex and so the same thing that I felt you know men were doing to me I was doing to them I wasn't seeing them for who they really were I was just seeing them for what benefit I could get from them so I'm excited about truly knowing this man for who he is, what is inside of him, and who, you know, I'm just excited. So I want to let you guys know that if you have a desire to be celibate um, and you think that is something that you cannot do, I want to let you know that you can do it and it will be worth it. Um, you just have to be humble and submit all of this stuff to the Lord. No, you can't do it in your own power. Like he, God will help you. And then once you have kind of gotten into the, the reality of it and into the, I don't know what the word is I'm trying to say, the routine of it, 
then you'll see what things kind of are temptations and what things spark that part of you and you'll you'll know that you need to eliminate those things because you don't need to be unnecessarily tempted so you can do it <laughs> you are still going to have a great life like life is not all about sex like you will start to see people for who they really are see the world for everything else that it offers outside of that and God will be very pleased with you but I'm just saying that it's going to give you such a freeing life you will no longer be bound um so thank you guys for watching I hope that this encourages someone to start their journey towards purity um and just wait, wait for the thing that God has for you. Wait for the person that God has for you and it will all be worth it. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.